What is going on everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be doing a quick upgrade tutorial or teardown if you will. Not really going to be a full teardown, not going to destroy this brand new Dell XPS 17. We are simply going to just be upgrading the RAM and SSD or at least showing you how to. This model is the max spec so there's no real need to upgrade it. Honestly speaking the max spec is kind of a waste of money. So I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM and the SSD yourself with the help of iFixit. Huge shout out to iFixit for sending over a few things to make this video really, really easy to do. And I'll give you my recommendation on what I would personally buy to make this upgrade as easy and user-friendly as possible. They sent over their Essential Electronics Toolkit. This is very, very useful. Then they sent over the ProTech Toolkit. I would only get this if you're really an enthusiast and you know that you're gonna be taking apart a lot of maybe different laptops or mobile devices or anything like that because this literally will have absolutely everything. And then a nice little understated bonus is this magnetic project mat. So this is another thing that is really, really useful and super underrated because how many times are you shuffling around looking on the floor for a tiny little screw or something small that you accidentally drop? And that can all be avoided with something super simple like this. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be using the Essentials Toolkit as well as the Magnetic Project Mat. I don't really think we'll have too many things to throw on this. Pretty much just these few torque screws that we'll have right here. And after that, we're pretty much into the new XPS 17. This design is really, really cool too. Like, I'm really glad that Dell finally updated the XPS and brought back the bigger XPS 17 as well. So to get into these torque screws, we're gonna need the second smallest head and then we are good to go. That's pretty much all we need from here. We're gonna go over what comes in the rest of these kits as well a little bit later on in the video. But first, let's show you guys how to upgrade. These little screws are so rough to get into the first time. Okay, so we got the XPS 17 cracked open now. And uh, yeah, honestly, without these little guitar pick tools for prying things open, that would have been a lot harder than what it was. And there probably would have been a lot more damage done. This is definitely a tough built laptop. It did some damage to this, so I'm glad that they give you a few of these in the box. All right, so we're into the XPS 17 now where we can see the new dual fan design with the vapor chamber as well. Obviously under here, we're gonna have our i7 processor as well as our RTX 2060 graphics card as well. Then right here, we have our RAM slots and then we have two spots for our SSDs. Unfortunately, we can only upgrade the RAM and the SSDs as the networking is now soldered on. So you can't upgrade the networking anymore like you could in the past. But it's pretty cool to see like the big battery, like this thing is absolutely massive the speaker grills here and yeah let's go ahead and get into the upgrades so first how do you take out the RAM so if you want to take out the old RAM you just pull these little tabs on the side and then your RAM is gonna lift up after it lifts up you just pull it very gently so now we've got our old RAM out of here so let's see if you go with the max spec I don't even see exactly what brand this is the maximum supported RAM in this laptop is 32 gigabytes per DIMM, so you can have a max of 64 total. I will leave links to some recommended RAM replacements in the description below, depending on if you wanna go with a 16 or 32 or even a 64 gig kit and save a lot of money from upgrading straight from Dell. So we've got our RAM out. I don't really know exactly what brand it is, but um, yeah, it just, I don't know. It just looks like nothing special. It just says MTA and some mumbo jumbo and then product of China. So I assume it's just something that they got a pretty good deal on from their supplier. Let's see which of these screws fit the best to take out the SSD. So that one's a little bit too big. SSD on the right. Okay. 
And just so I don't get anything mixed up, I got the SSD screws on the left, the SSD screws on the right, and all the torque screws to put the top plate back on. So the easiest way to get the SSD out, you wanna pull the heatsink up just a little bit, pull out the SSD like this, and then you lift up this little tab right here holding the battery and you lift out the heatsink. So really easy. This heatsink does have a thermal pad pre-applied so you don't have to worry about using another one or replacing it if you don't want to. It should work on your new SSD, no problem. And then this SSD is from Quasia. Uh, never heard of that, but uh, yeah, probably just a Dell supplier. And this one is a lone two terabyte SSD. So really easy to get out. Like I said, just make sure that you pull out the heatsink to very easily be able to replace. So yeah, this is pretty easy to take out. Just make sure that after you take out the SSD, slide out the heatsink as well to make it really easy to replace the new SSD and make sure it's done properly. Let's go ahead and pop out this SSD for good measure. Oh, you know what? I don't have another SSD. Maybe we should throw another SSD in here. But unfortunately, um, I don't have a second one. Nice that there's already a thermal pad pre-applied, pre but if I didn't use this for like, let's say, you know, six months or a year, I would probably replace this because I'm sure that it might dry out a little bit and just use a brand new one if I decided to add a second SSD to this XPS 17. But let's go ahead and uh, put everything back because like I said, the upgrade process is pretty easy and you can't upgrade the networking card anymore. So there's really not a ton else left to do in terms of upgrades, just the SSDs and the RAM. Alrighty, perfect. We got the XPS 17 back together. Let's go ahead and do a super quick check and make sure that everything powers on. Let's make sure that our SSD and our RAM are recognized as well, and then we should be good to go. A really big benefit to using the right tools to open up your laptop is not necessarily how easy or hard it is to get into the device, but how much evidence is left over after you've gotten into the device and cracked it open and performed your upgrades. If we look at the XPS 17, we can see that there's pretty much no evidence of me tearing apart this thing. So we did the upgrades in a way to make sure that the condition of the device is still gonna be pristine. We didn't want any scuff marks or abrasions or anything like that. We wanted to keep this thing looking just as good as it did when it was brand new before we cracked it open and did our upgrades. So if we were installing some new stuff, we would have successfully performed our upgrades. We did not fry our PC. Our i7 is still showing up, the computer boots, obviously. And then our 64 gigs of RAM, as well as let's check our storage. Our storage should show up because uh, there's only one drive in here, so it would have boot if it didn't. But if I were you and you were performing these upgrades, I would make sure that your computer boots before you piece it all back together. So. After you install your SSD, after you install your new RAM, hit the power button, flip it over, and just keep the computer elevated real quick just to make sure that everything boots up just like normal before you go ahead and place the bottom of the XPS 17 back on because as you could probably see, it is kind of a pain. And by this point, if you're doing it yourself, you know that it's kind of a pain to get apart. What would I recommend that you go with if you were gonna tear apart your Dell XPS 17 and do a couple quick upgrades? I would definitely go with this magnetic project mat. That way you can keep track of your screws and make sure that they're in the proper place. And it's nice that they give you that little dry erase marker so that you can keep track of what items that you're pulling out of your PC or device or whatever you're taking apart. And then we also have the essential electronics toolkit. So in here, what we use out of here, we use two of these bits for the screwdriver, these little guitar picks as prying tools. This one we didn't really need. The reason why I didn't want to use this one is because it would have damaged the device and the finish and obviously wanted to keep everything looking pretty nice. This one we did need for the backside as well. So I would recommend the Essential Electronics Toolkit. You don't really need to go with the, the Protect Toolkit. This one might be a little bit overkill just for pulling apart the XPS 17. But if you know that you do a lot of mobile repairs or just do a lot of other tech repairs in the household, then maybe this will be worth it as you 
you do get a few spares of these pry tools as well and these are designed to break obviously before your device does where if you use the metal one that's going to damage your device for sure so you want to be careful what you use the metal one on but if you use the plastic ones they really won't leave much evidence on your device but all right you guys that is going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel let me know what your perfect configuration for either the new dell xps 15 or 17 is for you how much RAM and how big of an SSD do you think that you need? I will leave links to some RAM and SSDs that will be compatible with the XPS 17s just to make it that much easier for you guys to upgrade your XPS as well. I will also leave iFixit toolkits link in the description below because you will definitely need these to crack this device open. Like if not, you'll probably do some damage to it. So take my word for it. This is not a sponsored video. They just sent a few things out for review and they made it really easy to open up the Dell XPS 17. It might take you a little bit, just be patient. Be patient, don't rush it, don't break your device, but you'll be able to do it, it's not that hard. Thanks again for tuning in, I will catch you in the next video.